Hey, my name is Mike. I'm one of the Launch Code Mentors. What we're going to do is we're going to scrape all the data off of this website and we're going to use it in our own web app. Uh, now there's a couple of different ways of going about this. Now the first thing you can do is you might be able to write, if it's a PHP site or a server-side rendered site, you could write an application that goes through and actually parses all of the HTML and pulls out the specific pieces of data that you need. So for example, we'd loop through each <clears throat> we'd loop through each photo and it would grab it would find the header and grab the name Joe Schwartz it would grab the binding a season without rain and um, so server side websites you have to do that um, for other websites for client side driven websites like sites run in angular or uh, <clears throat> or ember.js or backbone.js the HTML is separate from the data. The data actually comes in as a separate HTTP call. And let me show you what I mean. We click inspect element. Let's clear that out. We're going to refresh the page. Great. So right here, Google Chrome is showing us every single HTTP request that it makes. And you'll notice that every item that it needs, it makes a separate HTTP request, and it does that asynchronously. So we're seeing lots of HTTP requests for images. And if we keep scrolling up all the way to the top, we can see the first thing it does is request CSS, and then it starts requesting libraries that we use inside of our application. It requests some of our custom JavaScript. And finally, we recognize this thing. It makes a call people.json. JSON is uh, pretty similar to a CSV file. It's in a special format that it works perfectly with JavaScript. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's in this people.json. Oh my god, this is great. You know, this has all of the data. We don't have to parse through it. It's already in its notation that JavaScript understands. What we have to do is we have to make an HTTP request, just like the browser does, to this URL, and we can have all of the data from that website. Now, one thing to note is you want to make sure before you scrape the data off any website, make sure that there, you read the robots.txt file. Make sure you try and find if one exists. Some websites do not want you scraping their data and will therefore specify in the robots.txt, hey, you cannot scrape this data. So, okay, now that we know where the data is actually located, let's download this data and integrate it into our app. Now, in a later video, I'll show you how to synchronize this data in real time, call the website um, in your application automatically. But for now, we're just going to download the data that we need. So, we're back over in the appliance. We're going to use a command line to do this. We're going to use a library called curl and curl actually lets you do HTTP requests from the command line so for example if we want to do an HTTP request on this URL so we can be just like the browser we just type in curl dash X um, get that's the HTTP type press enter and it's actually going to pull in all of the HTML that we need for um, that resides on that page. And we can also do the same thing with the JSON. <clears throat> nice, nice. We just programmatically downloaded all of that data that lives on that website and now we can make it on a computer. In fact, if we want to store this data in a file, we can just pipe it out and we can say coders.json. Now that's going to take that entire text and put it into the coders.json file. Here we go. Now you can take that data 
integrate it into your app, put it into your database, serve it up as JSON, do anything you like. Thank you guys for listening.